Okay, what is up YouTube? Brandon here back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Google Glass. Now essentially what Google Glass is, is a camera, a display, a touchpad, a battery, and a microphone built into some spectacles or just some regular glasses. So you're going to be able to film and take pictures and also search the web and translate as you go and the screen that you're going to be viewing through the glasses is the equivalent of a 25 inch high definition screen from about eight feet away there's no official word on the native resolution so far but it is said to be about 640 by 360 and that's pretty much what's been on all of the websites it can also provide sound with bone induction technology which if you've ever seen the vibration speakers that's pretty much what this is and it's going to vibrate your skull to create a sound which is both more grisly sounding but much less cumbersome than traditional headphones so it's kind of just like a vibration speaker that you would sit on a desk or something and for the specs like i said it's going to have probably a 640 by 360 display built-in 5 megapixel camera that can film at 720p and it's said to only film at 720p just for the developer model when they actually do come out with the consumer model it should film 1080p and the bad thing about the developer model is that like I said it only does film in 720p and it's $1500 so if you want this you're gonna have to go and withdraw a whole lot of money from the bank and this would kind of be useful for say you want to film you playing sports or something that's what I think it'd be useful for um, there's also 16 gigabytes of flash memory built into it although 12 gigabytes will be available for storage kind of the same thing as the iPhone they gotta have more memory for the programs and stuff that it's gonna have on it and it's gonna pair with pretty much any Bluetooth enabled phone and the glasses are compatible with any uh, Bluetooth supported phone and the My Glass Companion app, which enables GPS and SMS messaging, requires Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich. So you're going to need to have a fairly new updated phone to get this to be able to work. And the battery should last about a whole day. So that's about it. I hope you like it. If you did, hit that like button and thanks for watching.